Syracuse in an unusual situation as a one seed losing their starting center. But UNC Asheville, they are anything but your typical 16 seed. UNC Asheville is the fifth highest scoring team in Division I basketball and starts four seniors. They don't have a lot of height, but that hasn't stopped them all season. We don't let our size hinder us because, I mean, we're 6'3 and 6'4 and 6'5 and we still manage to get rebounds and out-rebound other teams, so we're not going to let our size get in the way of what we want to do. Asheville played close games against both NC State and UConn earlier in the season, and players say they learned a lot from playing against those big-time programs. You know, we have some pretty athletic guys, um, you know, the 6'5", six, 6'6". Six, six. You know, we're not big, but they're pretty athletic, you know, and they can jump with the best of them. Asheville starters spent a lot of their practice working against a recreation of Syracuse's zone, and Orange fans should keep an eye on Matt Dickey. He's a senior, the Big South Player of the Year, and will likely be playing professionally somewhere next year. You know, we're going to try to get out and run on offense, but one of our keys has been we got to stop them in transition. We cannot let them get out and run and, uh, you know, get long rebounds or get turnovers. With, that's how they start their offense. After UNC Asheville played UConn earlier this season, UConn guard Jeremy Lamb told J.P. Prim that Asheville was the scrappiest team they had played all season. For now, reporting from Pittsburgh, I'm Alex Dunbar.